Damon D'Amico here with D'Amico Dance Company in Houston, Texas. This is Allison Carr. Her hair's perfect for the video. Uh, well, uh, Gilbert ended up submitting a video of uh, Simeon and Emmeline from Budapest, but from last year. So if you go back and look at it, I believe they won the Strictly or Jack and Jill, whatever it was they danced in. Really cool video. Um, and so they did some things that we needed to work on anyway. And um, it started off with a whip where the guy changed his hands right away. So we went one, two. So you guys are kind of stepping into the connection here. It's a fancy whip. So we are making a change from our normal whip where we just back up and wait. We are gonna be somewhat moving in opposition to the lady, but being mindful of that. If you're doing this move, you should be good enough to make it work anyway. So you guys back up on the one, one, and go to this wrist, wrist catch two. I'm gonna let her go ahead and go backwards for three and four as I do a three and four. And I move back towards her on the four. He did fancier footwork this. I'm telling you that this will work to start. From here, she's gonna step away on five naturally because I redirected her. I'm gonna go back for a rock and go and redirect her on the and six, which puts her in a position like a flip to whip. From there, I take this hand down. I've still got the wrist. I'm gonna take the, I'll show up on the other side in a second. I'm gonna take this down and keep the wrist for seven and eight. We take the lady into this straddle position with the hand behind the back. Then we let a continuation here, which is a syncopated movement for the ladies that um, really needed to be taught because guys go to lead and the ladies don't know what they have to do. Guys don't have to lead it either. So when we get here on the eight, it's really important that the guy, instead of opening up like a normal whip for an exit here, that the guy steps through with his right foot as the lady steps forward. This creates a connection in my in the crick of my right wrist over here. Now I've got the string firmly wrapped around the top. This is one. I'm gonna pull against the grain and change hands and to and, and I'm gonna turn face the opposite wall, take my hand to the front of the lady's shoulder here, the side in front of the lady's shoulder. This is called a wedge. This is one and, two and. From here, the lady is on her right foot, and she really has no other choice with the speed and momentum, and now the rotation being over with. She steps forward on the left foot. I take a small step back to not be too far away on three. I straddle behind her on four. You'll notice that a lot of the pros when they do this movement from here, a lot of times they're taking the lady and giving it some kind of swirly bird like Zoop because Zoop is so popular right now. Uh, but if you can only do the basic version, that's fine. And if you can't like make her do the swirly bird without making her feel funny about it, then don't do it. <laughs> Allison just felt funny. I did. So this went one and two and she goes forward on the left and this is three straddle four. I want to transfer energy to her. I bring her back and sneak out of the way and step through and then I just turn and face her for a seven eight. Okay. From the other side. He did more of a Ronda here. You guys can try this. I will tell you guys at home, just like I told the guys in class, if you can't do this Ronda over here and make the pattern work, nix the Ronda. And you guys are just so all about the like cool whip on top of bad dessert that you'll just die to do that Ronda and screw up the rest of the pattern and think you've accomplished something. I love y'all, I'm just being honest. But you guys go one, one, two, three, four, gets me to the same four as if I had done a triple, right? One, two, three, and four. Much easier for you guys to get the nature of the pattern. From here, you have to be careful that you don't send the hand out because she'll want to prep. So she's gonna go down the slot, almost forward feeling on five. It's almost an inverted rhythm for a triple because she doesn't realize it's a triple. So she gives us a whole beat of music on five, and then it goes and six, so it goes slow, quick, quick, and six. From here, I drop this hand down. We're taking it to a bracelet, and it's got to be the hand always has to be lower than the elbow that's going to fold behind the back. Otherwise, the lady gets a chicken wing. So I've got to lower the hand and let that turn around for seven and eight. She's already moving through space. I step aside. She gets caught on one. I pull and change hands and go to a wedge. She goes forward. I step back. I straddle. I bring her back. I step through. She does a five, six. She does a seven and eight. I'm gonna do it all the way through without stopping. It goes one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, and eight for the lady. I think we did that from this side. I think one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, one, and two, and three, four. Five, six, seven. I'm gonna give myself a new bar on that one. Thank you. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight for the lady. That's what we did in class. Thank you very much. Yay.